Hello everyone, this is Reverend Cherie, and today I want to talk to you about the card Stay Optimistic. This card is from the Magical Mermaids and Dolphins Oracle Card Deck by Doreen Virtue, and it's one of the cards used in our free online angel card readings at angelmessenger.net. And I've been wanting to do an extended description on this card for a while. It's one of the ones people have been requesting. So today I'm going to try to do it by video so I can really show you what I'm talking about here. But as you can see on the card, there's this little mermaid here who is a magical creature, even though it looks like she's hiding herself in this little comfortable pool of water. And she's just sort of looking over the edge of this rock at what she sees in the distance. And maybe it's success, maybe it's a new home. It seems like the paths that she has to go to, through, you know, there's a lot of ups and downs here. She may see a helpful person, or maybe this is a romantic interest, or, um, you know, maybe she's looking at the opportunity over here represented by the waterfall. But whatever the case may be, this card is really talking about if you're, if you're getting this card in a reading or if it's coming up for you, then maybe you've been looking at things with sort of a not-so-optimistic attitude where you feel like things are just too hard or it takes too much work or it's too far away, it's going to take too long to achieve your goals or, or whatever the case may be. But this card is really about telling you, you know, the, the statement here says, your dreams are coming true, don't quit right before the miracle occurs. But one thing I always urge people to do when I'm teaching them how to read angel cards is you really have to look at the imagery in the picture and see what stands out to you. So take a minute and just see or think about when you first saw this card come up, what part of this picture really stood out to you? Was it the clouds? Was it the path? Was it the water? Is there something specific that stood out? And think about what that might mean to you. Um, is the color significant to you? You know, it's angels are really great about using imagery, and especially if you're a really visual person. So keep that in mind. And now, so we talked about this winding kind of up and down path, reaching her goals here. There's also a little waterfall here, a little bit of water coming through here. So there's different emotions maybe, uh, maybe even a, a decision between two paths, maybe just some confusion. Um, but it very much to me feels like this person is in a comfortable state. She's hiding behind what she may feel is the security of the rack. And she's out looking at this, you know, there's opportunity behind fog here that maybe she's not seeing. And sometimes that can be because of illusion. Fear is a big illusion. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of whatever. Um, fear it can do a number on us. So make sure that fear isn't keeping you from seeing your dreams and being optimistic. And you'll also notice right here, it's hard to see, but there's a little tiny little bird here. And so she has a friend there with her, but she's not really paying attention. So sometimes too, when I'm drawn to this little guy here, I'm reminded that even when we're not so optimistic, we're very much supported by our guides and angels. And so, you know, even if this path it's hard to even see how it completely reaches her goal here, but behind this fog, you kind of see how this path can go through here. So keep in mind is even though you may not necessarily see how the path you're following will lead to your goals, stay optimistic because you may, you just may not see how it connects yet. And, you know, that there's opportunity here with the waterfall. And I'm also drawn to the orange of the clouds. And orange is the color of creativity. So make sure that you're taking time to be creative and, and be joyful and play. And actually, this is represented by, um, the, these are little orca whales right here. And orcas can be very joyful and playful. But there's also an essence of, getting in touch with your true self deep within and finding out who you are and where you're meant to go personally. And that can be done through meditation or um, even doing something fun, you know, help, your, help you to get connected with yourself. Um, so I'm just going to actually open the book here and read you what the description says. But I wanted to point out some of the visual things here that you can relate to in this card. And maybe even the tree connects to you in a way. Um, you can see it's kind of twisted and maybe has lived a, a life of challenge, but 
it's there and it's on strong foundation and it, you know it has access to uh, water and, and nutrients and everything it needs so even sometimes when we have to go through a lot to reach our goals we are supported in ways that we don't even realize and sometimes we take those for granted so it's important to remember to to be open to understanding that uh, we're supported from heaven even at times where we don't necessarily realize it or we're you know, hiding behind our security blankets or whatever is holding us back. Um, so the, again, this card, stay optimistic. This is what it says in, in the book that Doreen has included with this deck of cards. This is it. Your time has come. You're about to collect your rewards and your prayers will be answered. However, a bit more patience and guided action on your part is required. The extra weight and effort are definitely worth it. You're just about there, and this card asks you to keep your faith about miracles and heavenly magic. Use your imagination to visualize your dreams that have already come that your dreams have already come true. Your heart will swell with gratitude and joy, and these emotions will speed up your desired manifestations. Before long, you'll be enjoying the tangible results. So in her explanation, she talks about being joyful, having gratitude, and th those are really important because those emotions do speed up your desired manifestations. And the reason they do is because it increases your own vibration, which draws more uh, positive energy your way and can create the, more, the desired effect more quickly. So I hope this extra explanation has been helpful to you and that you will stay optimistic and look forward to the things that are coming your way. So be open, be hopeful, and have a great day. Angel blessing.